science friends teacher Mary here today we are going to do a fun video that includes mixing colors and we're going to talk about the names of the colors and some of you probably already know the names of your colors which is awesome we're going to find out what colors we can mix that will create other colors and it's a really fun experiment to do and something pretty simple that you could probably do at home if you have the supplies which you'll see in this video and maybe you'll get to do it at home. Okay, so for this experiment, we're gonna need three cups. And with these cups, we're gonna fill them up with water and we're not going to fill them up all the way. We're just gonna put enough so that we can mix in the colors. So maybe about halfway or a little less than that. three primary colors which are red, yellow, and blue. The primary colors are the basic colors that can be added together to make new colors. So first we're going to start with red and we're going to put a few drops of red into the first cup. One, two, three, four, and then after we drop the water in we're going to get a stir stick and we're going to mix it up and we're gonna use a different stir stick for each cup because we don't want the colors to mix yet. So if you're doing this at home, make sure you use a different stir stick for each cup. And now we're gonna do yellow and we're gonna add some yellow drops and watch them mix into the water. And then we're gonna get our stir stick and we're gonna stir up that yellow water to make it really nice and yellow. Next we're going to get blue. Blue is our last primary color that we're going to use and it's a very strong color. Actually blue is the strongest color so we're going to add some drops of that into the water and then as we did with the other cups we're going to get a, another stir stick and stir it around. Alright so here we have our three primary colors. Red, yellow, and blue. Let's see what happens when we mix these up. Okay, so first we have red and yellow. We're going to add some drops of red to the clear water. And then we're going to get some yellow. We're going to put some yellow in there. Can you see what's happening? Do you see another color forming in the water? we've started up, we've made orange. When we mixed red and yellow together, that made orange. Isn't that neat? Now we have yellow and blue. So we're going to add some yellow drops to the water. We're going to add some extra yellow because remember we said blue is a very strong color so we want to make sure we have enough yellow new color that we're making. Now we're going to grab some blue and watch what happens when we drop it in. <gasps> Whoa, do you see that? That made green. We can already see the green before stirring. Right as the blue hit the yellow, it turned green. So now we see that when we mix blue and yellow together, it makes green. How cool is that? All right, so now we're going to see what happens when we mix red and blue together. Are you ready? Okay, so we're going to grab some red and then add that to the water. And the red's pretty light, so we're going to add a few more drops to make sure we really get the red in there. And then, since we said blue is a strong color, we're going to add about one or maybe a little bit more than one. We'll see what happens. All right, I think we'll just stick with one and stir it up. Do you see what color it's turning into? It's turning into purple, isn't it? It looks kind of like a faint purple, like a darker than usual purple, but 
let's see what happens when we add more blue. Maybe it'll help make the purple more purple. It looks a little more purple, but maybe a little bit more on the blue side now. But usually when you add red and blue together, you'll get a purple color. And I'll add this white piece of paper to see if maybe you can see the purple a little bit better. There you go, you can kind of see the purple a little bit more. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit of a review. So we started with our three primary colors, which were red and yellow and then blue. And our three primary colors are our basic colors that when we mix them together, like red and yellow, make a new color. And that new color was orange when we mixed the red and yellow. So now we're gonna mix, or we mixed already, <laughs> the yellow and blue, and we found out that that made green. And our last mix was red and blue. And when we mixed them together, it made purple. So we found when you mix the three primary colors together, you can get new colors like orange, green, and purple. All right, let's see what our next activity is coming up. Are you ready for our next activity? Because I am. We are going to do what is called the walking rainbow, okay? So we are going to mix colors again, but this time we're not gonna use a dropper to make the green, the purple, and the orange. We're gonna have something else do that for us. And it's gonna turn out pretty cool. Are you ready to see how it goes? All right, so I'm going to get a tray. And the reason I'm gonna get a tray is because um, in order for these colors to mix, we're gonna to have to let them sit out for a little while, maybe for uh, the entire day. If you do this in the morning, wait until dinner, and then it'll be all done. Or it might even have to go overnight, depending on how big your cup is or how big your container is that you're mixing these colors in. Okay, so it just varies. So we want to have it on a tray so we can pick it up and move it to a different place uh, that it won't get bumped or spilled. So I'm going to start with those three primary colors. I'm going to get my three bowls. You might remember these from earlier. All right, I've got three bowls. Do you remember what the three primary colors were? What we started with and what we mixed together? They were red, yellow, and blue. Those are the three. So we're gonna fill up these little bowls with regular water. And again, we're not gonna fill them up all the way, but we're gonna give them enough water, maybe a little, little more than halfway. All right, now, we only added about three to four drops earlier, but we wanna make this really saturated, which means we wanna give it a lot of color to work with. So, actually, I'm gonna start with red. So I'm gonna do about 10 drops, okay? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. All right, do you remember what we used to stir it up? That's right, your stir sticks, you're gonna need those. Three, to be exact. I'm gonna mix up that red, okay? All right, we got red mixed. We got our stir sticks over here. Next, we're gonna do yellow. And again, we want it to be really saturated, so we might even do 15 drops, okay? We can count, count to that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. A couple extra dropped in, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be too exact. We just want there to be a lot of color in that water. All right, our last primary color, blue. We're gonna do about 10 drops of this guy, because remember, blue is a strong color. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, a couple extra never hurts. So, we are going to take our stir sticks, stir up that yellow. I'm not gonna use the same stir stick for each one because then the colors would be mixing and that might make our experiment go a little differently than planned. So I've got my other stir stick for my blue. Okay. So now I'm gonna get three cups for the other colors. And we're gonna set them in a circle again. 
this part is um, more necessary, which means we actually really have to put it in a circle for this one to work. Okay, next, I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm gonna push this a little bit because I'm gonna have to do some folding. So I'm gonna fold it in half, or not in half, but I'm gonna fold it into thirds, okay? And maybe you can have a, a grown-up help you with this or an older sibling. Maybe you can do it perfectly just on your own. But we wanna make sure that it's folded into thirds. Okay, I'm gonna make it nice and flat, okay. Now this next part you really might need a grown-up to help you with because we're gonna use some scissors. I have some big scissors here, but if you have uh, kid-friendly scissors, some smaller scissors at home, that works too. All right, so we are going to cut one. And I forgot a step, actually. One moment, we have to get some water into these clear bowls. I got a little ahead of myself. So before we even introduce paper towels, we're going to add some water to these clear cups. But we're not going to add any drops of anything to these. They're going to stay clear for now. So we want all these bowls to be touching, okay? So they're going to connect. And how they're going to connect is with a paper towel. Going to put the paper towel in the blue water in the clear water and create a little bridge. So this blue is gonna soak up and walk into the clear bowl. And then all right, make another snip. We're gonna fold it out and fold it in half. clear bowl with this red bowl. You can see the red already going down into this bowl. Alright, now do another snip. Pull it out. Fold it. And put it into the clear bowl and the red bowl again. Okay. This one in half because we only need two more. So now unfold it, fold it once more. This will go from the clear water to the yellow water. And now our last one. Oops, actually I do need one more. <laughs> Got a little ahead of myself again. We're going to take this one and we're going to connect this clear bowl to this yellow. paper towel. Okay, so then we're going to fold it into thirds. Give this one a little snip. I don't need all of this one. Okay, so this one's going to go a little to the side. Then unfold it, fold it halfway so it can connect. We're going to connect this last one. We're going to connect the blue to the clear bowl where the yellow meets. All right, so the reason it's called a walking rainbow is because what's gonna happen is these paper towels are gonna soak up the color water, right? And we are gonna soak up the red and it's gonna travel down, walk down into this clear bowl, right? And we have another bowl with yellow. And so this paper towel is gonna soak up the yellow and travel down into this clear bowl too. So instead of us using a dropper, we're going to use paper towels to mix the colors. And so the red will travel to the empty bowl that's also connected to yellow. So do you remember what yellow and red made when we mixed them together? Hmm. Orange. That's right. So it's the same for the rest of the bowls. The yellow connects to this clear bowl, which connects to the blue. Because blue, when it goes into this bowl, and yellow, when it goes into this bowl, is going to make green. So, as you can see, it soaks up quickly at first, but it takes a little while for the colors to mix together. So this is the part, wait, 
okay? So let it sit out maybe for the rest of the day if you did this in the morning or maybe overnight if this was an evening project for you at home. So I'm gonna let this sit out and we're gonna see what happens and if this experiment works, okay? All right, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so this is what my experiment looks like. About 30 minutes later, it mixed a lot faster than I thought it would, but I think it's because I had some smaller bowls to work with and less water that needed to travel through those paper towels. So we can see that the paper towels helped us mix those colors together. They helped us mix the red and yellow. They helped us mix the yellow and blue and they helped us mix the blue and red. So hopefully you're able to do this project at home. Maybe you can do it with your siblings or on your own or maybe with your parents. Um, just see what happens when you try this and hopefully your colors mix together. Um, anyways, that was our second activity and I hope you get a chance to do it for yourself. Wait, okay, so before you guys go, I thought that it would be a really cool idea to add some baking soda and some white vinegar to these bowls of colors that I have after I completed my first experiment, the walking rainbow, because I was thinking back to teacher Brianna's volcano and the ingredients she used to make the volcano erupt. So I thought, how cool would it be if I try to get these colors to erupt too? So. I took one teaspoon of baking soda and put it into each color, and now I'm adding the vinegar. And do you see what's happening? It's kind of bubbling up and fizzing up, right? And not quite as much as I wanted to have it erupt, so I'm just gonna add more baking soda. So you saw that with that first cup, I added more, and it really fizzled over the side. So I found that I needed two teaspoons per bowl, and I'm gonna stick with my 1 4th cup white vinegar and now I'm gonna add it to the rest of the colors. Look at all those explosions happening. How cool is that? And at the bottom of the tub, you can see that they're all mixing together. We have our greens, our blues, our purples and reds, oranges and yellows, and they're kind of making a cool mixed up color at the bottom. Anyways, just wanted to share that with you guys. Hopefully you can try it at home too.